Did you know that more than half of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? Take a moment to let that sink in. The next time you're at a grocery store, look around. Nearly 60% of the people you see are likely struggling to make ends meet and can barely afford their groceries. This isn't a localized problem. It affects the entire nation, regardless of where you live. Do watch till the end, if you don't want any of these wealth killers keeping you poor. Before we dive in, I want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe, if you haven't already. It really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate your support. The Paradox of Income and Wealth Now here's a surprising twist. Being broke doesn't necessarily correlate with how much you earn. There have been instances of people growing six-figure accounts on minimum wage jobs while supporting a family. On the flip side, there are individuals earning over $100,000 annually who still live paycheck to paycheck. How is this possible? The answer lies in choices and financial habits. Warren Buffett himself is a prime example of building wealth from modest beginnings. He famously said, If you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. This brings us to a crucial question. Are you ready to break free from the cycle of financial struggle and start building real wealth? The Five Wealth Killers Through extensive research on Warren Buffett's path to riches, I've identified five key factors that keep people poor. Today, we'll explore these wealth killers and learn how to overcome them. Are you prepared to confront these obstacles head-on and transform your financial future? Factor 1. Zero Balance Mentality The Silent Wealth Killer The first wealth killer is what I call the zero balance mentality. It's a mindset where people believe that if they have $50 in their bank account, they have $50 to spend. But as Warren Buffett wisely advises, if you can't pay for it, don't buy it. This zero balance thinking is the primary reason why income doesn't necessarily determine whether you're broke or rich. Consider this. Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, lives on roughly $100,000 a year. Meanwhile, someone earning $40,000 or even $100,000 annually, but spending every penny is still broke. The key is to allocate a portion of your income to savings and investments, allowing your money to grow over time. How often do you find yourself spending your entire paycheck? What small changes can you make to start saving and investing, even if it's just a small amount? Factor 2. Payment Traps The Illusion of Affordability The second wealth killer involves falling into payment traps. Warren Buffett astutely observes, only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. This metaphor perfectly captures the illusion of wealth that many people maintain through payment plans and credit. Consider this scenario. Your friend just bought a beautiful Mercedes with monthly payments of only $350. It seems affordable, right? But here's the catch. They can't actually afford the full $41,000 price tag up front. This illusion of affordability extends to many aspects of life, from furniture to electronics, all available through enticing zero APR deals and monthly installments. These payment traps can make you feel like you can afford more than you actually can. Before you know it, you're juggling payments for a car, a couch, various household items, and credit card debt. As Buffett notes, that problem is avoidable. How many items in your life are you currently paying for in installments? If you had to pay for everything you own in cash today, could you afford it all? Factor 3. The Power of Compounding Your Path to Wealth Once you've overcome the zero balance mentality and avoided payment traps, it's time to harness the power of compounding. Warren Buffett refers to this as creating compounding machines, entities that grow wealth exponentially over time. To truly understand compounding, you need to grasp two crucial concepts, assets and liabilities. Assets put money in your pocket, while liabilities take money out. Examples of assets include dividend-paying stocks or real estate, while liabilities are things like cars, clothes, or the latest smartphone. The key to building wealth is focusing on acquiring assets rather than liabilities. Over time, your assets can generate enough cash flow to easily afford liabilities without compromising your financial health. Consider this real-life example, a financially savvy individual instead of buying a flashy new car invested in a small apartment complex. Within a month, they were earning $300 profit every month from rent. This is the power of assets at work. The beauty of compounding is that you don't need a large sum to start. You can begin with as little as $5 a day, week, or month invested in dividend-paying stocks. Remember, a savings account alone won't cut it. You need your money to work for you through assets. What assets do you currently own? How can you start shifting your spending habits to acquire more assets and fewer liabilities? Factor 4. Avoid the flashy lifestyle. Substance over style. In today's social media-driven world, it's easy to fall into the trap of maintaining a flashy lifestyle. We're constantly bombarded with images of people who appear wealthy, but are often drowning in debt to maintain that appearance. Warren Buffett serves as a prime example of substance over style. Despite being one of the wealthiest people in the world, he lives in the same house he bought decades ago, eats modestly, and wears suits without flashy brand names. 
The key is to focus on what truly matters in your life rather than trying to impress others. By avoiding the pressure to maintain a flashy lifestyle, you can redirect those resources towards building real wealth. How much of your spending is influenced by the desire to impress others or maintain a certain image? What would happen if you redirected that money towards investments instead? Factor 5. Thinking a step ahead. From consumer to producer, the final wealth killer is failing to think a step ahead. While it's easy to criticize businesses for always wanting our money, the reality is that everyone is trying to survive in the current economic system. The crucial difference lies in our choices as consumers. Most people lack a filter when it comes to purchases, buying things they don't need simply because they want them. Developing this filter is key to feeling richer and having extra money to invest. As you see your investments grow, you'll likely want to accelerate this growth. This is where you transition from being just a consumer to becoming a producer. You start thinking of ways to increase your income, whether through working extra hours, seeking a promotion, starting a side hustle, or launching a micro-business. Warren Buffett emphasizes the importance of preparation, saying, Predicting rain doesn't count, building arcs does. This mindset of proactive preparation is what separates those who achieve financial success from those who don't. How can you transition from being solely a consumer to also being a producer? What skills or resources do you have that could generate additional income? Now that we've explored the five wealth killers identified by Warren Buffett, it's time to put this knowledge into action. Remember, avoiding these pitfalls is just the beginning. The real power comes from consistently applying these principles over time. Start by examining your current financial habits. Are you guilty of zero balance thinking? How many payment traps have you fallen into? Begin to shift your focus towards acquiring assets and leveraging the power of compounding. Next, take a hard look at your lifestyle. Are you spending money on flashy items to impress others? Or are you focusing on building substantive wealth? Remember, true wealth often grows quietly, away from the spotlight. Finally, start thinking like a producer. How can you increase your income and accelerate your wealth building journey? Whether it's through advancing in your career, starting a side business, or making smart investments, the key is to be proactive and prepared. Remember, building wealth is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, discipline, and consistent effort. But by avoiding these five wealth killers and following Warren Buffett's timeless wisdom, you can set yourself on the path to financial freedom. A year from now, do you want to be in the same financial position you're in today? Or do you want to be well on your way to building real lasting wealth? The choice is yours. Are you ready to stop these five things that are keeping you poor and start your journey to financial success? Comment below. You may also wish to check out my other video on the Chinese secret to saving money for wealth accumulation in the link above and in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share this video so that more people will stop doing these five things that keep them poor. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos for creating wealth and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.